Morphew. I'm a professor at the University of Iowa in our higher education and student affairs program. Uh, so my collaboration is with the uh, um, Council of Independent Colleges, CIC, and uh, starting in November 14, we started conversations about how to work together with the CIC to create some new bridges between the scholars at ASH and the practitioners at CIC and some of the leaders on CIC campuses. So one of the things that I think we wanted to accomplish with the, with the collaboration was to figure out ways where um, uh, we can create a, a sustainable two-way uh, street between uh, the scholars at ASH and their practitioners and leaders at, uh, who are involved on CIC campuses, leading CIC campuses, and, and who want to uh, find ways to use the, the research that we and others create to uh, help deal with some of the challenges and opportunities on CIC campuses. At ASH, we've talked, I've been involved in ASH for a couple of decades now, and at ASH, seemingly every conference we have this conversation about uh, what are we going to do to make our work more, um, uh, uh, more credible, more useful, more legitimate, and, and applied that will, that will make it a better use for uh, leaders on campuses, not just uh, independent college campuses, but also research university campuses, comprehensive campuses, community college campuses. And I think it's a very difficult thing to do for a number of things. Many of us are, uh, of course, caught up in the, um, in the uh, promotion and tenure uh, um, uh, 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 we're caught up in the in our desire to be promoted and tenured in our universities and gain the recognition that comes from our field and that field um, and our fields and our universities reward scholarship um, that is not um, that is not uh, often uh, found in journals or uh, in uh, outlets that are accessible to leaders on campuses so that's one of the things that we have to we have to deal with first. Uh, so a couple of products that we've had as a result of the collaboration. One is a manuscript that we are um, we are hoping to have out uh, very soon, uh, published by a major press, major university press. And that manuscript can be a very different take than most of the scholarship that uh, that we that that, that Ash scholars pursue in, in, in a different format. And the manuscript is is really is is. Um, uh, we have seven or eight chapters that are being authored. It's being edited by John Braxton and myself. Uh, we have seven or eight uh, chapters that are written by Ash scholars, some Ash scholars who are actually on independent college campuses. And in each case, we've asked those Ash, Ash scholars to talk about a, a core area uh, of importance to uh, independent colleges. So access and equity issues, learning technologies issues, making, uh, making uh, meaning making in the liberal arts. These are all core uh, independent college issues. And then in, in each case, we've also asked a president or provost from a CIC campus to uh, react, if you will, to, to, that, uh, to, the, to the scholarship and uh, to what the, the Ash scholars have presented to them, and really ask them to, say, to tell us um, what's useful here, what's most useful here, what's missing here. Given what you deal with every day on your campuses, how does this chapter in this scholarship speak to the problems and opportunities on your campus? Uh, the other product that we're pursuing um, uh, is, is what we're initially calling the Ash Experts Bureau, which is going to put, which is uh, an opportunity for Ash to designate in certain subject areas with certain scholars to designate certain experts that CIC leaders can call on for informal conversations that may result in, you know, continuing sustained relationships but an opportunity for a CIC leader who's facing a, a difficult issue on campus or an opportunity on his or her campus to call up an ASH uh, expert and say, what are the best practices here? What do we know about this subject? And how can we take that? And how can my problem on my campus be interpreted or handled in such a way so that I can use some of that, that knowledge in, uh, to, to improve what's the teaching and learning, for example, that's going on on my campus? The final thing that I think has resulted from uh, the collaboration is an ongoing series of reports that the CIC has been putting out where they've been able to involve uh, scholars from, from ASH. Uh, I've written uh, some work for them, as well as uh, Kelly Ward from Washington State, Lisa Wolf Wendell from uh, University of Kansas, uh, Joy, Joy Gaston Gales from North Carolina State, Audrey Yeager from North Carolina State, Jim Hearn from the University of Georgia, uh, Bill Zanetta from uh, the University of Washington, all very active ASH scholars who are now collaborating on reports that are written specifically for CIC uh, membership as part of the CIC's campaign on the independent college's role in uh, higher education in America.